Today for Full Album Friday, we're gonna check out one of the true hidden gems of music history. It's the 1971 self-titled debut from Third World War. This is just one of those outright phenomenal records that somehow managed to get lost in the shuffle of time. And when you consider the sounds and the lyrics that you hear all across this album, you can hear the massive influence that this clearly played in everything from punk to hardcore to more straightforward rock and roll over the remainder of that decade and even today. In fact, this may be the most important album when it comes to bridging that psychedelic sound with the more common rock and roll sound we know today. Taking influence from groups like the MC5 and other bands like that, and creating the rock and punk sounds that are present all across the world. To be honest, this album is so far ahead of its time, it's not even funny. And once you hear this record, you're gonna realize that this is the actual beginning point that so many other bands are given credit for. Basically, Third World War works perfectly because they had a producer who was looking for a band that was, quote, a no BS working class band, nothing more. He really wanted them to stand against those glossy, peace-loving types that had become the norm in the industry at the time, and to say he got exactly what he's looking for is an understatement. There's this rowdy, raw, gritty tone to every single song on this album. And when you combine that with a similar vocal sound, these songs are tough to top. And even after you play these songs over and over and over again, which trust me, you're gonna want to, those emotions and feelings never dwindle in the least. In fact, as far as I'm concerned, this record can still curb stomp the life out of anything still being released under the labels of punk or rock. Yes, it's that good and that powerful. Whether the guitars are giving off a deep growl or just blowing you away with an amazing riff or solo, the tone is absolutely distinctive and really represents everything that makes for a great guitar record. But there's this slight distortion on every single guitar piece that makes it instantly identifiable. And it manages to add this almost overwhelming sense of urgency to every single track. It's also the power of the rhythm section that's gonna get you absolutely hooked on this album. As there's these creative grooves and there's also outright sonic assaults on these tracks. And it's this diversity that makes every single song exciting at every single turn. But the true highlight of this music may be the vocal work of Terry Stamp. As his grit and his aggression perfectly match the music. And it gives the tracks a raw, unapologetic, authentic feel like nothing else you've ever heard. The attitude that he brings to these songs is second to none, and whether he's rallying blue collars on songs like Working Class Man or MI5's Alive, or bringing an amazing satire on the song Get Out of Bed You Dirty Red, this is what real ballsy rock and roll is all about. At the same time, the hooks all across this are undeniable, and you'll find yourself hitting the repeat button even after the first time just so you can sing along. Trust me. Even today you hear so many bands going on about keeping it real and staying true to their roots. But once you hear this album, you'll understand what that really means as it's the sort of record that can easily stand in a category all its own and is an absolute treasure to those who know its brilliance. The fact is, Third World War remains one of the most tragically overlooked records in all of music history. And once you hear it, you'll absolutely understand why. So if you don't own this record, trust me when I say it needs to be the next album you buy. Thank me later. Oh!